for all you motherfuckers on Sunday, sitting on the fucking couch watching cartoons. Get the fuck up, go to the gym, grab the 100 pound fucking dumbbells, and do fucking work. Let's go. fucking motivational Sunday in the house of gains right now. I need you to write your motivational quote in the fucking comment section. We got my boy fucking Jameson right here about to work out with us. Let's fucking get it. Tough times never last. Tough people do. Don't forget it. Get the fuck off the wheelchair, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm capable. All right. Let's get we got it. my boy Jameson right here. We're about to go to the gym. Let's fucking get it. Hey, what are you doing, bro? Yo, what the fuck, bro? Why are you filming this shit? What are you doing? I told you not to fucking film this, bro. Turn the fucking camera off. today is we're focusing on controlling the weight using our actual muscles to push it. Fucking Sunday, Jamie. Come on. Ninety nine point nine, baby. 99.9. .9. Let's fucking go! Woo! Let's go, Jamie. Let's go, Jamie! <laughs> this motherfucker right now, bro. It's <laughs> Last set, best set. Hey, last set is always the best set. Leave you make sure when you leave the fucking gym that you leave no stone unturned. Crikey, what in the hell do we have here? Oh, it's a mighty one. Oh, 
Oh, it's a mighty one. Hold on. You can't get too close. Don't get too close. These specific pythons right here, they like blunt smoke. If you're smoking a blunt around them, they won't bite. Okay? Wow. It's okay, buddy. I mean no harm. Hold on. You ready? Yeah. You gotta touch this low. Oh, cracky. Oh, cracky. He's so oh, he's calm. He's a good boy. Let's see if we can pet it here. Oh, oh. He's getting a little jumpy over here. Go ahead. <laughs> Look at the little bastard go. He's got a piece of fucking hair on his head. I think it's a cat hair. I'm gonna grab his hair. Got a wild cat hair on his head. Is it a wild cat hair? I would not try this at home. This is a deadly maneuver. It's a deadly snake, too. Rocky, that was dangerous. Welcome back to Three Questions. I'm Tanner. This is Barry. This is Ghostface. Don't look at him in his eyes, otherwise we go blind. If there was no laws for one hour, what would you do? I'm going to the closest international bank and I'm stealing everything I fucking can possibly grab. If you could replace all of the grass in the entire world with another plant, what would it be? I pick weed. If your dick made a sound when it got hard, what would that sound be? So like you need some WD-40 on that shit. A horse-sized cat or a cat-sized horse? A cat-sized horse. That'd be so dope. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Can I? Yeah. Personally? Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. I guess I can't. Already? Barry, boo! This is what you do at a titty club. You go like this. At a booty club, you go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's full touch. You good? It's full touch. <laughs> full nude. Full yeah. bop. Dave is coming up the elevator with this girl that he met from the club. Bro. Literally fingering her in the elevator. They just won't stop. I like walked in the front of the Chinatown Hotel. He's fucking Dave her in the just, room. I don't she sleep. got her hand in Dave's pants, and Dave is just spritzing her, and they're just making out hardcore. Spritzing her. And I have tried to, like, I, initially I was like, hey, guys, can we just, and then, like, it just echoed in my head, rule number one, no cock blocking. I mean, he was definitely like, guilty of indecent there. exposure, lewd lascivious conduct. Public oh, nudity. Maybe, maybe I mean, he was in New York, so yeah, it was like just a daily occurrence. Yeah. But but I, in, in the elevator, like I'm not even exaggerating. In the Windsor. He, he is in the Windsor. In the fucking he is, Windsor. He is. I'm not fingering her. This motherfucker is going. In the fucking Windsor. He's going Windsor? fucking full spritzer on this bitch, bro. And she's losing it. And Dave's like, he's got, and he's he's either got three of his fingers in her mouth, or he's got her by the hair. While he's fingering her, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm basically on Bang Bros. I'm holding a 360 camera. I'm holding the camera, and I'm like, yeah. I'm sure my face is hilarious during all this. Since the universe is balanced, and you don't have to seek balance because it exists constantly, whether you like it or not, and you can't even unbalance it if you want to. What happens is, when you, okay, for instance, let let's take perspective as, as a as a measure here. If I have a white wall in front of you, do you really understand the white wall? Not really. When I introduce a black square onto the white wall, two things have become very apparent, the white wall and the black square. Yeah, but only the existence of both of them has informed you of, of, where, of each other. Of where anything singularly. is. Singularly, exactly. Robert now Robert. imagine, imagine if you take that square, you know, imagine if you take that square, okay, in this, in this instance he would be the square in this representation. And you, and you take that square and you overlay it over different backgrounds, constantly changing the background. A white background, a yellow background, a green background, 
a red background, different places, different cultures, different people, okay? What would happen was, he would be very confused about the outside world, but he would become a very apparent and acute of the square, which was the only common non-changing factor in the experiment. So although this was a traumatic lonely event, it enabled him to do what most people never can because their square never changes backgrounds, is see the true outline of himself, which was the square, and understand who he is. And it was probably actually one of the best things that ever happened to him. Holy shit, Dude, bro! <laughs>